Today we will try to understand radio frequency signals or radio waves which is one of the most remarkable and fundamental physics we encounter in everyday life. But what are radio waves? Let's find out. Radio waves are traveling electric and magnetic fields. Long before we were born, in 1867, James Maxwell predicted that an electric and magnetic field can travel through space. And in 1887, this prediction was confirmed by Heinrich Hertz, who became the first person in the world to transmit and receive radio waves. Now, let's understand the simple concept of electric and magnetic waves. When you pass current through a wire, an invisible magnetic field is generated around the wire in the form of concentric circles. But when you pass an AC current through a wire, the magnetic field will change its magnitude and direction and due to the AC current, there is also an electric field generated around the wire. The blue lines are the electric fields and the red lines are the magnetic field. These electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other and they propagate away from the wire as electromagnetic waves at the speed of light. There is a direct relationship between these two fields with the ratio of the magnitude of the electric field and the magnetic field equals to the speed of light. This is true at all times and at all locations in space, a simple but elegant solution. This ratio shows that the electric field generated by the alternating current in a wire is very strong relative to the generated magnetic field. The frequency of the generated electromagnetic wave is equal to the number of waves traveling in a second which is proportional to the frequency of the AC current you passed in the wire. The wavelength of the electromagnetic wave is equal to the length of one wave and it can be calculated by dividing the speed of light with the frequency of the wave. Radio waves as well as visible light are nothing but electromagnetic waves. Our eyes can detect visible light which is only a small portion of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. There is a lot of this spectrum which our eyes are not equipped to detect because we have only evolved to not be eaten by lions which are definitely visible in the visible spectrum. In fact, electromagnetic radiation is emitted by all matter. You and I emit and also absorb electromagnetic radiation. For example, look at this guy. NASA took two pictures of him holding a trash bag. One picture in visible light and another with infrared camera. Similarly, radio waves can travel through bricks and plastics but are blocked by metallic objects. The entire range of frequencies of electromagnetic waves is called as the electromagnetic spectrum. The other electromagnetic waves apart from visible light include gamma rays, x-rays, uv light, infrared, microwaves and finally radio waves. We have divided the entire electromagnetic spectrum by the frequency. Highest frequency waves are called gamma rays and the lowest frequency EM waves are called radio waves. Radio waves like all other electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light and don't require any medium to travel. Sound waves which are just changes in air pressure. They require a medium such as air or water. The energy carried by an electromagnetic wave is carried in its electric and magnetic fields and is proportional to the frequency of the wave. The higher the frequency, the higher the energy. Radio waves can either be generated by natural sources such as lightning or astronomical bodies such as the sun and planets. Here is a graph of one day of radio emissions by the solar system. Or they can be generated by artificial sources such as broadcast radio towers, cell phones, satellites and radar. Now suppose this is your house on the left and your friend's house is far away to the right. You could transmit information such as songs or data 
via radio waves. You first have to decide on a particular frequency to transmit information. Based on your frequency, you can calculate the wavelength of your radio wave with the formula of wavelength is equal to speed of light divided by frequency, which will ultimately decide the length of your antenna. You could have half wavelength or quarter wavelength antenna, but we can keep antenna details for another video. You can now send an AC current encoded with your song to the antenna at your frequency. The antenna will convert the AC current into an electromagnetic wave, which can then be received by your friend. To prevent interference between many people using the radio frequencies, use of the radio spectrum is strictly regulated by law. This is the complete electromagnetic spectrum where the radio waves start at 0 Hz on the left and end at 400 GHz on the right. From 0 Hz up until 9 kHz, this region is called as the low frequency band. These VLF or very low frequency radio waves have large wavelengths and their antennas are huge. This is a picture of VLF antenna used to communicate with Indian submarines far away in the ocean. Communication with far away submarines was the actual incentive for the development of radio waves. This antenna is situated in Vijayanarayam, India. Due to the low number of frequencies available, this band is used for low speed communications. Now let's move on to the frequencies of interest to us, the 9 kHz to 400 GHz band. Radio waves from 535 kHz to 1700 kHz are used for amplitude modulation radio, for news and sports commentary. Not very suitable for transmitting songs since AM is very susceptible to static noise. One of the frequencies RFID works on is the 13.56 MHz frequency. Three frequency bands from 54 to 86 MHz, 174 to 216 MHz and 470 to 806 MHz are used for transmitting television content with each channel being 5 MHz wide. Then we come to the frequency modulated FM radio which we usually listen to in our cars ranging from 88 MHz to 108 MHz band. Each FM channel is given a 200 kHz spacing and 75 kHz frequency deviation. Now let's come to the frequency bands used by our beloved phone without which most of the millennials will absolutely refuse to survive. The 2G band uses the 800 MHz to 1900 MHz band, 3G uses the 2100 MHz. 4G uses the 850, 1900 and 2300 MHz. The 5G will use the existing 4G bands as well as the 24 to 86 GHz band. In India, 335 MHz band is used for the radio remote control of cranes. When you are travelling in your car, the GPS receives data at 1.57 GHz and 1.22 GHz frequencies. Next we have Wi-Fi which uses the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band. Bluetooth which again uses the 2.4 GHz band. Moving on guys, there is a hidden universe out there which we just cannot completely see with our eyes. Radio astronomers detect far away stars and galaxies with radio waves at the 3 kHz and 900 GHz frequencies. On the left, you can see a small portion of the sky in visible light. And to the right, this is the exact same part of the sky with visible plus radio light. Very soon, we will be having 12,000 Starlink satellites by Elon Musk, which will use the KU band from 12 to 18 gigahertz and the KA band from 26.5 to 40 gigahertz. So now we have come to the end of the video which I really loved creating for you. Hope you are inspired by radio technology all around us. 
सो गाइज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स बिलो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब